hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am playing ruby and i'm playing tdm 3v3 tdm against actual people not bots it it's mind-blowing like is it not like oh my god people there's actual people playing tdm it's nostalgic I I hope it continues. Like I hope more and more people start like playing it um, and realizing that more and more people are playing it because I really want TDM to come back. Whether you know they make like five v five TDM or whatnot, but I miss TDM like in general, and I think a lot of people do. But essentially, I was playing with um, a couple of my teammates. And I didn't even know that we were going to play TDM, but we kind of started winning a lot. So I was like, you know what, might as well start recording some of these. And this first video, I think was, I don't know, maybe the first one we played together as like a, a group. And so it was a little, a little rough, um, a little rusty. It was my first game on, I think, maybe my second game on. And so I just... I forgot how sweaty and intense TDM can be, so it is, it is a little rough. It's a little bit of a rough game, um, to say the least, but it definitely reminded me why TDM before was definitely rage inducing, um, especially if you played before, you would definitely remember like how rage inducing the game would be. I will say though, um, there wasn't like a whole lot of um, like spawn camping. Like the old TDM, I feel like there was a lot more spawn camping and maybe it was just like in this little segment of time that I was playing, uh, I didn't experience it a whole, whole lot. So maybe that's, maybe that's a good thing, I'm not sure, but just playing in general, like these um, games, it, it wasn't terrible. Um, I did get a couple of other games, like they were clearly people, but you could tell that they were people, but at the same time they weren't necessarily good. Um, it made it feel a little body and made it feel like the old bot days, but we were getting like insta cues with all these TDM like games, so I I wasn't initially gonna play Ruby and then I I didn't really know who to play. Because I feel like 3v3 is so different from 5v5. Like, I didn't I didn't know who to play. So I was kind of just like, well, I feel like a shield might work. But then at the same time, I was like, hmm, I don't know who they're going to play. Like, is it even worth it? So, I don't know. It, like, it's so different. The gameplay and game styles between 3v3 and 5v5 are so different. I feel like, I feel like a lot of people can attest to that. It's just a whole different game. It's a different game. I definitely prefer 3v3, even though I I do like 5v5 attack. What is it? Attack escort or whatever it is. I definitely prefer that over just like regular payload escort. I like the long map, so I guess it's the only thing I really enjoy about 5v5. Um, but yeah, this game was a little rough. I was missing a lot of my like stuns with Ruby, but I chalked that up to... It just being kind of like one of the first games I was, you know, playing and not really knowing who to play. Um, and so I actually think this was probably one of the first ones we played. I'm not sure. But besides the point, it's the same team that I'm playing with throughout all these games. And this one was really, really, really sweaty. And this little Kaz, this little, like giant meatball looking dude. He wanted to be a tryhard so bad. Like, look at him. Like, what is that? What is that? And listen, he was he was so annoying. He he was being a little annoying fly. And I can't wait for Damon to come out because what is it? I don't, I don't know if it's like her, her passive or one of her abilities, but it makes it so like characters who can fly, like Alita who can like double jump and then you know, the giant meatball who can, like, fly and stuff. It, like, basically makes him stay on the ground. Like, I can't wait for that. 
to them, like, those annoying characters, or, like, Scotty, who, you know, can do that weird, like, glitch fly thing and fly across the map, like, that will hopefully, like, put a stop to it, and I'm so excited for it. But this Ruby, this Ruby is being a little tryhard, but go for him. I'm a better Ruby. Um, as y'all know, I am a simply a better Ruby. And the last time I think I remember playing on this map in particular was, I think, when Fade came out. And I remember just throwing people off the map on the bottom part. And then it was still when second abilities were out. And and so Ling um, still had her tornado <laughs> where she could where she got it every 30 seconds. So she could just send you off the bottom of the map. I remember that just being the most like infuriating thing ever. Yeah, it brings back a lot of like upsetting memories but i enjoy it like i'm embracing it being as chaotic as it is and i don't know it it brings back i feel like the good times and i really hope more people start playing it like i really really do because i feel like a lot more people definitely would come back to the game if to realize that like 3v3 more people were playing it, you know, and stuff like that. But I don't know. It it's hard to like figure out what like the impact to play. I guess. I don't know. I was playing Ruby, I was actually having a really good game with her, like this game. And I'm seeing like more and more Kelvins. I, I don't know why. Like, am I missing something? Like is is Kelvin like really good or something because i got yelled at on my stream i tried to play kelvin and someone yelled at me they're like oh my god why are you playing kelvin and i was just doing it to kind of be funny but they were really being serious they're like why are you playing kelvin it sucks and then i see more and more people playing him but it's not with like his like cheese ball skin either so i don't know but i was i was destroying this game with ruby all in all it was fun. I would like to like try and knock someone off the map with Ruby's stun because you know how it kind of knocks people back? I like to play like on this map. I mean I guess even free for all but like I don't know about that. Um, free for all or this map where it has like the open edges and stuff where like they're standing close and I just like stun them and then they get knocked off. I think that would be absolutely hysterical. I might try and do that just just for the meme of it, you know? Hopeful dreaming, you know? But yeah, it was, you know, it was a really fun game. And then in in the last game, when it does come up, I will say it was so intense for like no reason. And I feel like I've played against um the person who was playing Ruby, I feel like I, I've played against them before, and they were like a little sweathead tryhard as well, but I cannot figure out for the life of me where I know them from, but I don't know. They were being a little sweat tryhard, and basically I had to put them in their place of Ruby. All in all, it was a good day. I enjoyed it. I hope to god everyone starts playing EDM, please, everyone, all I'm asking, please, let's bring it back, let's bring it back in full force, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. They can take the chance. I'll take the win.